What's up YouTube, it's Darian with Aurelius Visuals and today I want to give you guys another quick music video tutorial in Premiere Pro. It's going to be a Cole Bennett effect where the color changes to the entire clip over time and uh, it's a lot simpler to do than you guys might think very quick and it'll give a very high quality look to your music video, especially uh, like a slow motion clip or something like that. So let's go ahead and jump into the editor right now and I'll show you how to do it. First thing I want to do is uh, I want to import a new clip so in this case uh, let me see this effect usually works best with something that has slow motion I like to use it on a slow motion clip um, obviously you can use it uh, however you want with your video but I personally prefer to see this effect with slow motion so I got this workout compilation some of my friends that I uh, that I edited. So I just want to find a part that has some slow motion. <clears throat> some nice smooth slow motion. All right, so right there. Right there. And uh I'm going to use this part I'm going to use this part with this face <clears throat> just so you can kind of see how the effect works so I got my clip uh, put into the editor in my timeline obviously like I said you guys can use any sort of clip that you want I prefer to use a slow motion clip come over here to effects and I'm gonna type in tint <clears throat> tint under color correction you should see something that says tint all right so we're gonna drag this and drop it onto our clip if you do it right it should turn black and white right there but don't worry we're gonna go ahead and fix this up. So come into your effects controls uh, for your clip and then scroll down until you see your tint effect right here. So what we wanna do is we wanna set a keyframe in the beginning of our clip right here to be uh, zero. So we're gonna go ahead and click that, make it zero, <clears throat> okay? Then we're gonna drag to the point in the clip where we want so like I want hit when his face uh, gets like into the frame I want it to be at a hundred percent whatever the the new color is going to be so now I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, map to white um, and you're going to change this to whatever color that you want it to be so I'm going to do I'm going to do red because I like how the red looks so I'm going to do red and then, like I said, right here, we want this to be 100% uh, when it gets to that part of the clip. So now if we come back, we notice that it's going to start transitioning into red. So if I play that again, we get a cool little, nice little effect right there. So um, <clears throat> what we can also do is if we, don't, if we don't want it to happen this fast, we can slow down how long... Uh, the the color change actually takes if we just slide our our initial keyframe that sets it to zero percent if i'm sorry excuse me if we drag that closer to the keyframe at the end then it'll uh, take longer to actually transition so it'll it'll wait longer before uh it begins to actually transition all right move this over some more the 100% keyframe and then it'll take longer to uh, actually turn you know the full color red boom just like that so that's pretty much it guys um, very quick tutorial today very easy uh, it can really take your music videos up to the next level you know please like comment share subscribe um, you know let me know what you guys think of this you know, send me some inquiries, send me some video clips if you want to see an effect or if you if you have an effect you know how to do, send it to me. I'll try my best to, you know, kind of uh, break it down and figure out a way to do it or how to duplicate it at least. And I'll see you guys in, in the next video. All right.